the connection between quantum theory and, and the mind in some way. Uh, my guess is that there's a connection uh, for several reasons. One, one is that, uh, uh, well, first of all, quantum mechanics, as was uh, uh, developed in the 1920s by people like Niels Bohr and de Broglie and Heisenberg and Schrodinger and Dirac, that this was the biggest revolution, really, in the philosophy of science uh, uh, that uh, we've seen for a long time. That is that uh, when we look at the microscopic nature of what we call physical reality, uh, it becomes very tenuous and, you know, matter loses its solidity and particles lose their identity. Uh, and this has profound philosophical implications for what we understand reality to be as we look more and more closely in the uh, microscopic world, the interior of molecules and atoms, things basically become very fuzzy. And uh, the, uh, the, the brain is a cellular and molecular system. There are events going on in the brain that involve uh, the interaction of atoms, single atoms with molecules and so forth, and it's very likely that there are going to be quantum mechanical effects as part of that in some way that just have not been worked out in some way. Uh, it's very messy, it's a very complicated system, and the assumption has been that things will average out in some way that, uh, in, in, in such a way that the quantum effects won't be necessary to address. That's been the assumption. And there are a few people that are trying to figure out ways to incorporate uh, quantum theory into brain function and it hasn't led to any real uh, testable uh, predictions as far as I know at this point, but I think it's a very viable uh, direction to continue to, continue to pursue. Uh, so just by virtue of the fact that there's microscopic atomic stuff going on and the way nerve cells and glial cells and uh, are interacting and operating, uh, one might expect that quantum effects would be there. And how this would then propagate out to uh, behavior in some way is, of course, completely unknown, uh, but the potential is there for that connection to perhaps be part of the solution or at least further information uh, on this mind-body thing. Now. The other reason to believe there might be something interesting going on there is that there is a, a very profound historical problem in quantum theory called the measurement problem, uh, which all of the great thinkers in quantum mechanics uh, spent a huge amount of energy uh, uh, addressing, thinking about. People like Niels Bohr, uh, Einstein, uh, John von Neumann, Eugene Wigner, they spent years actually thinking about this, and that is that a lot of what happens in uh, the connection between quantum physics and actual physical measurements comes at the point of when the measurement is made. You know, that systems are somehow fuzzy and indeterminate, and then when a experimenter, uh, which involves some kind of decision, uh, chooses to measure something, a kind of reality is, is then set in some way, and a property which was only there in a fuzzy way before now becomes more real. 